Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you the different parts of a coal-fired thermal power plant and their routine maintenance process. Let's start. So you can see this is the basic layout plan of a coal-fired thermal power plant. The basic parts of a coal-fired thermal power plants are the coal storage, ash storage, the boiler, superheater, economizer, turbine, alternator, condenser, cooling tower, and the chimney. Before discussing the parts of the power plant, let's discuss the basic working principle of the thermal power plant. First of all, the pulverized coal is fed to the boiler via coal handling plant and the preheated air is supplied for burning of the fuel. The flue gas from the boiler is emitted through chimney either by forced draught system or natural draught system. The ash produced by burning of the fuel is carried out to the ash handling plant or ash disposal pond. The preheated and deaerated water is pumped into the superheater of the boiler. The water is converted into high pressurized steam and fed to the turbine. The turbine blades rotates and the turbine coupled with a 11 kV or 6.6 .6 kV three phase alternator. Thus, the mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. The 11 kV voltage is stepped up into 132 kV or 220 kV through the power plant transformer and transmitted to the load center via this transmission line. The low pressure steam coming out from the turbine is condensated at the condenser and then converted into water and then pumped into the boiler again. For cooling down the steam in the condenser, a continuous cold water is supplied. The heat of the condenser circuit is exchanged at the cooling tower. For make up the water at cooling tower, water from nearby river is pumped through the reservoir and fed to the cooling tower circuit. This process continues and runs throughout the year. A thermal power plant runs on modified Rankine cycle. The efficiency of modern thermal power plant is about 30% only. Now let's discuss some parts of a coal fired thermal power plant and their maintenance. Coal storage. The coal storage is either dead storage or live storage. Dead storage is generally 40 days backup coal storage and live storage is a raw coal bunker in boiler house. Coal bin which is used for storage of coal should be cleaned after it gets empty. It should be varnished once in a year to increase its lifespan. As storage. This is the method of collection conveying interim storage and load out of various types of ash residue left over from solid fuel combustion process. The maintenance of ash storage is the ash conveyor or belt should be cleaned regularly to keep it in working condition. Ash storage tank should be cleaned regularly to create space for new ash coming from the boiler after combustion. Next, the boiler. The boiler is a vital part of a thermal power plant. A boiler is a closed vessel in which the fluid is heated. The fluid does not necessarily boil. The heated or vaporized fluid exists the boiler for use in various processes or heating application. There are different types of boiler and you can see this is a basic block diagram of a boiler. There are various parts in this boiler that is primary air fan, force draught fan, air preheater, economizer, reheater, superheater etc. and steam boiler etc. I will discuss this operation of the boiler in another video. The maintenance of the boiler is the good quality of coal should be used for increasing the efficiency of the boiler. It should be cleaned regularly and cleaned the water tubes on a regular basis. Next, the superheater. A superheater is a device used to convert saturated steam or wet steam into superheated steam or dry steam. It increases the thermal efficiency of the steam engine and have been widely adopted. The maintenance of superheater is it can be maintained properly by keeping steam temperature constant for minimizing the thermal stress on the boiler and turbine. The next part of the thermal power plant is the economizer. The economizer is a mechanical device intended to reduce energy consumption or to perform useful function such as preheating a fluid. Its function is to make use of heat energy to off flue gases to increase the inlet water to be fed to the boiler. The economizer is also called as heat exchanger. The maintenance of economizer is at minimum check corrosion and deposit of dirt and moisture that could cause the outside air damper. Next part of the thermal power plant is the turbine. 
the turbine it is a vital part of a thermal power plant it is a rotary mechanical device that extracts energy from a fluid flow and converts it to the useful work the work produced by the turbine can be used for generating electrical power when combined with a generator a turbine is a turbo machine which at least one moving fluid acts on the blades attached the maintenance of the turbine is to ensure the proper steam quality is delivered to the turbine the proper expansion compensation supply and exhaust line are sized properly steam piping needs to be properly supported you can see this is the turbine used in thermal power plant next the alternator an alternator is an electrical generator that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy in the form of alternating current the alternator shaft should be cleaned and greased on monthly basis to increase the efficiency of the alternator the alternator wiring and windings should also be inspected on monthly or yearly basis next the condenser in the condenser exhaust pressure of the steam is decreased below the atmospheric pressure condenser condenses the steam it is cooled by the cold water and the same is fed back to the boiler through economizer the maintenance of the condenser is to from the low pressure turbine the exhaust steam enters the cell of the steam is cooled and converted to water over the tubes of the condenser next the cooling tower a cooling tower is a specialized heat exchanger in which air and water are brought into direct contact with each other in order to reduce the water's temperature as this occurs a small volume of the water is evaporated reduced the temperature of the water being circulated through the tower the maintenance of the cooling tower is done by scale deposits should be removed to ensure the proper air flow to clean tubes of the cooling tower to inspect the water pump and to treat the water regularly next the last part of the thermal power plant is the chimney the function of the chimney is to discharge the flue gases to the atmosphere at such a height and velocity of the concentration of pollutant such as sulfur dioxide is kept within acceptable limit at ground level the maintenance of chimney is it should be maintained by smoke stack repairing resurfacing and pointing adjusting chimney for distance as should be removed and now you can see this is the bird's eye view of a thermal power plant thank you